So we took the uh, Nissan uh, Second Life Pack that I've got behind me here, and, uh, and we built that into a grid-connected um, energy storage system. This is a 15-kilowatt uh, um, charger inverter that we have in here, um, and it's a two-port system. Um, so we have uh, AC power that comes in from the wall, and then the output port uh, we actually wired out to our electric vehicle charging post. So in terms of building a system like this, um, we started with a full pack uh, that Nissan uh, gave to us. Um, so we tore that all down, and then, uh, and then we built it into a 19-inch rack. We used uh, Nuvation's battery management system in order to do that. Nuvation has uh, inside of the switch gear box, which is the drawer that has all the contactors and current and so forth. So we have in there our stack controller, which is the brains of the system, as well as our power interface, and that's the module that interfaces with the contactors and the current shunt. And then coming off the stack controller, um, we have in this system um, eight cell interfaces. So we have in these breaker panels here um, all of our circuit breakers that go out to our electric vehicle charging stations in the parking lot. Um, one of those uh, breakers uh, is for uh, the a charging post that's just a NEMA 1450 outlet. Um, and so what we did is we kept that existing wire run that was already you know, underneath the building and everything, and we took the um, output um, from this system and actually made an inlet on the wall there labeled Tesla charger. And so we have power coming out of our battery system into the wall and routed through that power run out to charge the Tesla electric vehicle in the parking lot.